Hey fams, welcome back to another episode. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek of my kitchen um, for the spring. Yes, the spring. I am over winter and I am ready to bring spring in my home. So this is our tea and hot cocoa station and I just wanted it to be simple. Um, I'm kind of going for a low-key, um, summery, simple kitchen. I am in here about a hundred times a day <laughs> um, and I just wanted it to be very simple and functional for my family and I. And I also wanted a light and airy feeling. I wanted it to be bright, um, especially since we are still kind of in winter and I live in the Northeast. So it's very dark and dreary outside. So I wanted to bring some sunshine in and I have these two yellow pears that I picked up at the thrift store a couple years ago, along with my little thrift store mugs. Um, and I just thought that they gave this little area such a bright and cherry feeling um i love the way that this turned out and i love how you know simple it is and kind of minimal for me <laughs> but also how bright it is and the hydrangeas which you know are my favorite flowers i just think that it brings that spring and that summer vibes in to my coffee station or my hot tea and hot cocoa station so you know i'm getting ready to renovate my kitchen phase two and we're going to be doing the backsplash and taking those under mount lighting out i am super excited about it and cannot wait So I have my signages there on the wall and I left them there because I thought they were so cute and farmhousey. I also left this sign up because it's going to be there all year round. I am super grateful to the Lord for so many blessings. And right here by my sink, I just have my Dawn dish soap. Yes, I am done with Mrs. Meyer's dish soap because it does not cut the grease and I love me some Dawn. So here I have my two tray um, stand set up and it looks very summery, very springy. And I have um, my three copper mugs there with this wonderful sign. You can do anything with God by your side. I love this sign because it's actually dual purpose. I use it for my cell phone for whenever I'm cooking or, you know, in the kitchen doing anything. I can literally put my cell phone there and it stays there while I watch my favorite YouTubers and my favorite Netflix shows. Uh, so I love that setup. This has got to be my absolute favorite vignette in my kitchen. I just love the way that this looks. I love how functional it is. And oh my goodness, I just, I love the way that this is. And I, I'm not ever going to move it. I just want it to stay the way that it is. I, I set it up with my oatmeal and my spoon rest and my flour. And I have this cute little signage that's there, our Last name starts with a B, so I thought it was perfect um, for this tray that I got from Walmart. And I just love this setup. It is so functional because everything is right there by the stove that I need. I also added this Bless Our Home sign over my um, stove, and I just think it's so fitting. So here I hung a yellow and white tea towel. Y'all know yellow is my favorite color. Um, and so I just hung it there on the stove and it's not really for decorative purposes. I use it anyway throughout the kitchen, but I just love the way it looks. So pretty. Then I bought these um, cute little copper items from um, a local thrift store. I'm sorry guys, that's my phone notifications. I bought it from a local thrift store and they were 50 cents each. It was like a 75% off day after Christmas sale. And I picked them up for 50 cents each and I was surprised, um, but I love them so much. And I know the Let It Snow sign is still there. I am gonna leave it there for a little bit, but I am definitely going to be putting some spring um, um, bunnies and flowers and things there. So I'm also working on my chalkboard, so I'm not gonna show you guys that, but I just love the way that this turned out. 
So here is my coffee bar. I'm still kind of working on this coffee bar, not coffee bar, this breakfast bar. Um, I'm not feeling the stand anymore. I'm kind of going to um, be donating it, donating it and using something different. I love the idea of having trays and bowls with my fruits. So I'm going to be setting that up. And of course my kids ate all the muffins cause you know, that's what they do. And I just wanted to leave out this beautiful bunny plate. I think it's so cute. I know it's not Easter yet, but I just wanted to put it out because it's fitting for spring. And then this beautiful vignette that I created on top of my refrigerator. I think it's so pretty. It just reminds me of a summer garden. And of course, I had to add some green hydrangeas in there that I got from Walmart a few years ago. And I just think it looks looks so beautiful and springy and bright and just oh it makes me literally want summer to come like right now <laughs> I love this little canister it's actually a candle holder but I'm using it as a vase and it's so so pretty you guys so thank you guys so much for joining me on this early spring kitchen tour. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to my channel. If you have not yet done so, it is always free. Also leave a comment down below because I love interacting with you guys. Love the feedbacks and I just appreciate y'all so, so much. Remember Jesus is Lord and that he loves you and I love you too. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching and have a wonderful day.